Could you let me know when you're going? I might could tell you if he's had his mom or his girlfriend. I'll message you before you go down their driveway. Someone with the 803 area code said he's there. Hey, come inside ASAP. Fast. Because she's got him shooting up. Wow. And, I mean, he's just gone downhill so far. Well, I hate that for him. All right. He says he's 5'6", yes, 160 pounds. He's a little guy. Very valid concern. Oh, he's, he's less than 160 now. He's probably 140. Let me see if I got what he's charged with right here in front of me. Do you remember what he was charged with back then? I got it right here. Possession of methamphetamine, third offense. Um, possession of some type of ecstasy, third offense. It was a pretty good drug charge, and I think it's a. Uh, like it might have been a forty thousand dollar bond. So we'll do something and um, get out there and see what we can find out. If we get confused, you always available. Yeah, so just, you know, we'll call you in a little bit if we need some more um, coaching in there. Not, we'll see if we can go if, take uh, care of it. If you let me know when you're going, I might could tell you if he's had his mom or his girlfriend, or at least I might have an idea. All right, how far is it from the office? Let me look at the map one more time and tell you how far away we are from it. Um, oh, okay. well, that's says we're about 25, just say 30 minutes out. So yeah, in about 30 minutes when we get in the area, we'll call you and um, you said you Are might you be- today? Huh? Yeah, we probably want to go to- Yeah, that's why we're kind of messing with it today. What are you yeah, thinking? I'm going to call his mom. I'm going to call his mom real quick. Mm-hmm. Because I've got some news about, I think my son got custody of his son. So I'm going to call her and tell her. And then I'll find out if he's there. If he's not there, he's at her house with her old friend. You want to do that when we get closer to the address? Okay. Yeah, but see, to leave from his mom's, uh -huh. his mom has to take them. Okay, well, go ahead and find out. We'll wait on your call okay. back. Call me right back. Okay. Thank you. At the same number? Yeah, I'm right here waiting. Okay. All okay. right, bye. All right, guys, just a recap on what's going on with the Wayne Michael Scup case. Might be getting a little momentum here from the office point of view. Um, decided to make a few phone calls and see what that would get us. Apparently, um, I reached an ex-girlfriend. Um, the ex-girlfriend's willing to help us. And um, as you could hear, and probably her voice on the cell phone, coaching me into where he's likely to be with a new girlfriend or possibly with his mother. So she's fixing to make a phone call right now to see if she can figure out um, through the mom where he's at right now. He's either gonna be at the mom's house and then in order to get to the girlfriend's house, he has to ride with the mom because they don't have a car. So anyway, we should get this thing dialed in and be headed that way in the next 15 minutes. So um, just hang in there and let's see what happens. Uh, all right, everybody, just a quick update. Um, his girl, ex-girlfriend texted me back and she recommends, well, she said the mom wasn't at home at the moment. Uh, ironically, the mom gives plasma on Sundays and Thursdays, and today's Thursday. So, um, we're going to go check out the girlfriend's house. There is a dog at the girl's fr friend's house, and there is a hiding spot at the girlfriend's house. So, this ought to be a good one. We're probably going to dress out here at the office and head that way. So, um, come with us, and let's go see what happens. And we got this guy over here making all that noise that y'all hear in the background. <laughs> Uh, man, this is one of our bondsmen. This, yes, this is the guy that comes get you out of jail when you mess up. That's it. Devontae called me. Bondsman. He'll get your ass just as much as we will. <laughs> call yeah. me. My handcuffs work too now. Devontae <laughs> said, call me. Let's do it. All right, guys. For those of you who are interested, this is my. This has been my partner early on in my career. What you're looking at is a 12 gauge Mossberg 500, tactically built. We got the added heat shield. We got a laser. We got a tactical, tactical light. We got a pressure switch stacked on top of each other, which gives us the flashlight and the laser at the same time. This is a lethal weapon, but I don't choose to shoot anything lethal through it. We 
we take time out and we shoot them with bean bags. If you know anything about what a hacky sack used to be like back in the day, that's the equivalent to that being thrown at you, but coming out the end of the shotgun. We also have another slug that I got. It's my third shot in. It's a rubber projectile. If they're running, it gets their attention when you hit them in the back. They start wondering what that was, and they trip, fall, or slow down, or give up. So today we're going to take it out and see what happens. So uh, join us. All right, guys. So we're about uh, we're about five minutes away from um, Wayne's last known address with the girlfriend. Um, we're going to pull up and try to figure out which one of these houses back in the woods is his. Um, I think you said that the, the ex-girlfriend said there'd be a ladder on the front. Possibly something to look for. We're going to call her one more time right before we turn on the street. Okay. And there was also something mentioned about a little hidey hole in the house. So let's hope and pray that's where we catch him at because you guys will find those entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're like a mouse hiding in the wall. Hello? Hey, what, you watching them channels? I was getting ready to. Oh, I got you. Then you go. I was trying to get him to tell me exactly where he is. Oh. But I think he's at his girlfriend's. All right. We're going to check it but out. Won't you go there? If he's not there, he, yeah. won't, he probably won't go back. I got you. So, there's no real way to know he's there without hitting it, right? Well, I'm trying to talk to him right now. He's messaging me, but um, let me see what he says. Yeah. And I'll message you before you go down their driveway. All right, yeah, because we're getting close. If you stop right in front, listen, if you stop right in front of that house, yeah. he has the ability to run to, there's a house up the hill to the left that they hang out at, and he can go up there. So you might want to pull in and actually be looking like you're going up the drive to the next place, yeah. to the left, and then come back and down. then stop. Yeah, yeah, we were thinking about a strategy on walking in. Yeah, um, but let me see if I can get you to tell me. Pass and... you a couple questions. All right, hey, my partner wants to okay, ask you maybe some different questions. Go ahead. Um, okay. Okay, so, so the question I have is when we take a right with that brick mailbox, it's that long, long driveway, right? Yes. So yep. it'll be the first house we come to on the left is their house? Oh, no, it's, it's actually in the middle of the Y. It's on the... Because I see it looks it's, like it's, a big house behind another house. No, it, it's the first dwelling. In the in so the first you stay along, go along the fence line. You're going along the pasture line. Yeah. When that pasture ends, you're at that house. It's on the right. Yeah, well, it's the middle of the Y to the right of the. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be the first house we come across when we go down that driveway. Yep. And, it's and a I would tiny suggest little... going up a little bit. Yeah, it's an old dilapidated house and you said a and ladder suggest, might be on the front a ladder out on front. the front yeah that would give you an excuse to want to look up top yeah. if you don't find him but if you go around if you go like you're going up back up to the left yeah who lives up and there then stop who lives up there some um somebody they party with i, I don't know oh i got you so we still got to be careful with that you're gonna see us going mm -hmm. up there else oh, i got you go but ahead if you're going up that way he won't think you're there for him and if you stop then you can come down and Right. Then you'd have to run in the swamp. I got you. I will right, we'll keep talking to him. We're about three minutes out, but we're gonna stop okay. short of that and wait on there's you. A, there's back. a gym right when you turn it parking lot to a gym. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, we'll stage yeah. there until we hear back from. Okay. You. All right. Okay. Call us I'll right back. Thanks. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. I sort of understand, but I'm still not fully The Y part is just throwing me off, unless it's <coughs> got moved in there. And you know what I mean? It might have just gotten built. But Google is so new, I just so don't. take a right. Google is so fresh, there's and, no way I wouldn't show the door. Oh, there it is. That's the yeah. house. Look. There's the Ooh, Y. You go. In the middle of the Y. Yeah, that's And she it. said she wants us to go just a little bit past it and then come well, back look down. look and see if there's another way to flank it without messing with If we go up that there's other the house drive, at the top of the hill. But look, if we go up that driveway and it's a party house, it's going to raise suspicions to all of them. So, is there another uh, another advantage we could use to get up in there? All right, so there's this long trail right here. Yeah. We, so, yeah. if we come through this trail and then track through the woods all the way up here mm -hmm. and then cut back, that's a long, long... Find well, something if, if you drive right here, if you park right here, yeah. then you come up this trail and get him. That's long, though. But that, that That's really short. But when we're looking at it in real time, it might not be as bad, but what's real short? What do you, which other way you see it? 
So this is where the mailbox is, and that's where that is. So give me just a second. We can't walk up, like stop on the dirt road and walk up in the edge for about a half mile. We could. A couple football could, fields. Like, stop up here at the main road? Yeah, in front of the pasture. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and, and, might and be able see to what see kind us. of cover we got. We'll look for cover. All right. All right, guys. So just to show you what's going on, this is where we're going to turn in. This is his house up here. I'm going to zoom in. This is what she was talking about being on the Y. So we're, we're trying to figure out a way now to infiltrate this house because this, these long driveways like that, they can hear us and possibly see us. So we're going to come up with a plan and we're going to execute. That's right. So we're going to actually turn right here and start thinking about an approach. We'll just gauge it and see how far it seems. Now, if these people, if these are the people he goes up the hill and parties with, we're fucked. Cause they're right, yeah, because she said keep going, stop up here, and walk back down. But I think if we passed it, we're already we're already suspicious because we're not, the next place we're going is where we don't belong. That's not her. Well, the Uber light needs to come on here. He's yeah. going to think we're going to the back. If they're tweakers up the hill, he's going to yeah. think there's a tweaker coming in. Well, what point we're going to decide to stop, though? You know what I'm saying? I say we stop right next to it, and I can run around the side quickly. Yeah, once we can cover it. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Mic right. check. Plug that Uber in and let's do it. There's a bunch of mailboxes. We take the right after the brick one. I already see it. You see it? Yeah. Let's do it out the way. Wonder how I see. How can she be talking to him and is that the girlfriend's texting? Because they have a kid. So it's probably normal. Hey, you going to see Jimmy this afternoon? Hey, we can stop right before. What's it gonna say? You don't say it. Someone with the 803 area code said he's there. Would you like to reply? No. Okay. Alright. He's here. So what just happened? Well you can talk to that camera. Yeah, well, as you could hear, we had a text come in and it's coming in from our informant. And she's been on the phone with him, trying to get some intel as to where he might be. And that text just verified 100% that he's at this house we're fixing to hit. So um, if everything goes well, we'll grab him up here. But we just don't know how it's going to go down. So let's go find out. All right, guys. As much as I want to keep recording, I've got to get this shit out of my hands. I got the back. You jump out, hold the front. Yeah, I'll spin around on the front. Okay. Whatever that is, looks That's big. Right looks big. That's it. Hope he's, this is a sideways house too. Quick. Yeah, oh boy. I'm gonna stop right after that tree. You ready? Hold on. Three. Wait a minute. Two. Where are you going to the back? All the way to the back. Three, All two, right, go. one, go. <laughs> All right, I got the back corner. I think this is the front. They're in there. Hey, who's God, who's in here? The shit out of me. Who's in here? What the fuck is wrong with who's you? No, you here? can look in. He's saying yeah. you won't. But goddamn, huh? don't point that gun who's in my face. I didn't point it at your no, face. The gun's the been on the floor the whole time. I'm trying to get to the door. Oh. Yeah. No, nah, we're, we're being let in. My mom's boyfriend's in here. What's his name? Steve. Damn, you scared the shit out of me. How long have you been out of jail? Um, a couple days ago. I had uh, Where's your room? My room. got it around us. All right, stand by. That's my room. Like, I literally just woke up. You scared the fuck out of me. I keep my boyfriend's stuff, but... Who's that? Who's that? Who's your boyfriend? Um, I don't know who you're looking for. We're actually looking for you. Mm -hmm. Ain't 
take come inside ASAP. Fast. Come on. On the way. Where's he at? He's in this room right there. Where's my partner? He's in that room right there. Hey, get right here behind me. Get right here. The camera fell off. Come out now! Are you fixing to get shot? Nobody's in get there. Get out of there! Nobody's in there. I'm telling you. My dirty clothes are in there. Get out! Get out now! Come out! Did you hear what I said? Come out! On your face. Lay on the bed. Hands out. Show me your hands. Show me your Get hands. Get on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stay right there. Shut up. Down. We'll deal with it in a minute. <sighs> All right, you got anything on you, Bubba? No, you see, I'm in my underwear. All right, come on, we're gonna help you over. Let me double lock these because as you're moving around, they might tighten up. Just hold on. I ain't too tight in guitars, right? No problem. Are they too tight? Yes or no? We're gonna be your friend here in just a minute. I got, I got to be straight with you. Normally, I tell you why, but you know why because we, the cops at your, uh, your mom's house already. Okay. Where are your bonds? We're the okay, ones you yeah. almost screwed over with the money. All right, where are your pants at? Let's get out. Uh, let's get out <laughs> of the room. We'll get out of this room and then we'll find your yeah, pants. Sit down. No, not right there. Sit on that red stool. There's the weapons right there. Yeah, but apparently, Le where's your bondsman? Like I said, apparently Lexington uh, never wanted to come here. They only wanted to ever hit your mom's. I've sat here though. They've only came to my mom's that one time. They ain't been running from nobody. Yeah, they came to my mom's one time. This is the first time y'all come here. Can you get my pants? Well, to be fair, he was hiding in a closet, so he knew something was up. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I mean, I know. It's gonna be alright, man. We're not mad. Hey, we're not mad at you. Today's your day to go deal with all your warrants. I think you got nine. Yes, I'll tell you group here, I'm and most So what did you feel like? You got in too deep whenever you started missing the court? You're like, man, fuck, I'm in no, too deep. No, it's not that I missed the court. court. It was, uh, it's all for one court. I went and I got arrested for, the D, for a DUI, right? And uh, the U.S. DUS. It was because of a DUI. But the DUI and it trickled into all the, the this. DUI, that but the DUI got turned over. And I told okay, okay, that's okay. That's the whole thing started with. I'm going to get you some so white socks so yeah, you can wear them. Yeah, get him whatever he needs to wear in jail. And white I'll get you white shirt and stuff so that you won't be cold. Can I get him a cigarette? Yeah, well, yeah, you can have one now. Yeah. Well, we let you smoke. We let you smoke right before you go in, too. But no, they're all for one court in West Palm. Yeah. Nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm going to get We're going to go to the car and then we'll get get your seat fixed for you. Mm -hmm. Hell, I don't even know if I want to call it. Go ahead and get you seated in there. Get to make sure we got leg room. She's coming back with what? Alright. Alright. He'll be calling you in a little bit. He's gonna be all right. Hey, like you went in and took care of some, but you went and took care of some of your stuff and got reset. That's what he's gotta do. Just kind of go get reset. He'll be back out. <clears throat> Nine warrants, man, or whatever. You got, you let it get a little out of control, didn't you? Well, and it really, it's just all over a year. I got I pulled out, I got the license thing, like I said. Then, I know, but then, you were never taking care of stuff. Said, there wouldn't be my, that many my, on you if you were. My lawyer, uh, I never had to get to the family. And uh, I had what I was supposed to go to court about three times. And, uh, hey, look, if you get back out, if you get back out and you're on bond and you know you got to go to court, you call your bondsman a couple days ahead of time and they'll get you a ride. They'll send an Uber out here for real. We That's what we do to our customers. You know what I'm saying? I knew. Because I've been arrested, all that stuff going on. Yeah, I have probation, so probation is going to lock me in the way. 
What are you looking at? What do you think you're gonna do? You gonna sit for a minute or what's your opinion on how bad it is? A year, two months, a week? What are you thinking? Uh, Six months is reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, really I, it looks like a bunch of charges. Uh, it's got its awesome possessions of meth. Just yeah, we ha we don't know, man. We're not judging you based off of them charges. They got possession with to distribute, but it's always a gram. I mean, it's always. Hey, they make a user's amount, man, an amount to distribute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what the problem is with that. Yeah. I got with a bunch of pills and all that stuff. I ain't worried about that. That was thrown out. You got an attorney that you've been talking to, or you got to reapply? Um, I've, had, I've had these charges for so long, I've had a public defender for a long time. I was going to have them a while ago, but she had a death in the family. And, and well, you, you, you need to take this time to get back in touch with her, or make sure that you get reassigned a new one, and start communicating with them, so that they can help soften the blow. You know what I mean? Well, you did miss lunch. Not to say they wouldn't get you something to eat, but we're gonna hook you up with one last good meal from McDonald's, so don't hold back. What do you want? You picky or what? Uh, quarter pound of cheese. Oh, oh don't you want tip to drink? my partner. Uh, orange drink. Orange drink. Your straw is in the Thank you, ma'am. No problem. So we stopped to take a lunch break. We're letting our defendant eat, he hadn't eaten in a while. So while he's eating, we're gonna take our stuff off, get get ready to book him in, let him smoke the last cigarette, and then get him put in and continue to go about our day. Good one. Come on.